Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have Team of the Week James Conner gameplay. So let's get into this. As you guys can see, uh, we I think it was like 200k-ish for me to get this James Conner done. If you guys haven't seen my video from earlier today, I did open up 10 Team of the Week packs. So I got some okay pulls. Make sure you guys go check that video out. But James Conner, 88 speed, 91 acceleration. Now I do have zone run times 5 or tier 5. So I don't exactly know what he gets boosted with that. We'll check on that in a second. But he has 94 carrying, 70 catching, 84 looseness, 91 trucking. Uh, I'm pretty sure he also gets like some spin and juke. Uh, he does 93 spin, 94 juke move. On James Conner, I have an absolutely stacked backfield now. And with zone run, what does he get? So he gets plus three carry, three spin, three juke, two run block, two looseness, and two run block finesse. This is the offense, and then of course we also have the defense, which hopefully will carry us to a victory with Aaron Donald there. I sure hope it does work, but let's get into the gameplay. All right, so first play of the game, of course, we are going to hand the ball off to James Conner, but take a look at these sexy jerseys. I got these under the, uh, like the rewards mutt token thing, I don't exactly know exactly uh, what it's called, but we're going to hand the ball off here to James Conner, and that was not a very good juke. It's in the tab where you go to get like the flashback packs, the heavyweight packs. It's the one next to it where you can get like all the uniforms and stuff like that with tokens. As we hand them off to James Conner once again, his juke move doesn't seem that good. I guess Conner is more of a trucking back, so uh, let's try to trek over someone this run with James Conner. We're going to run it once again on third and one. Let's see if he can stop it. And... Really? All right, so Connor fumbled the ball on his third carry of the game. We did hand the ball off to him three times in a row, but still, that's not very good. Let's see if we can pick up this fourth and two so we can keep this drive going. And it looks like we're going to have, if I can reroute somebody up the field, maybe Y open. Oh, please, dear Jesus. Why didn't you make a play on that ball, Greg Olson? Throw pick. All right, so we basically just punted there on fourth and two. Uh... Don't know why Greg Olson didn't try to make a play on the ball, but he's going to be running the ball here with his running back, Saquon Barkley. These Cowboys unis are absolutely amazing. These look really, really clean. I can't wait until we get like a new Zeke or a new uh, Dak Prescott, maybe, and I'll pick him up and we can rock these jerseys with him as Khalil Mack gets the sack. All right, third and 22. Let's play some good defense, get the ball back, and try to feed the rock to James Conner once again. Come on, Aaron Donald. I want to see a pressure off that right side. Aaron Donald is not going to get a pressure there as he hits the ball down to the flats with Kittle. And that's definitely not a first down. I am absolutely disgusted. He just did a, a punt, but I touched it with, with Paul Krause. I tried to go get it because I was coming on to cover three. And it bounced off Krause's head. And he just recovered it all the way down to the 20-yard line. That is absolutely ridiculous. That that just happened, but second and nine, he's all the way down to 20 now, so he is in field goal range. We have to get his stop. He might just try to run the ball a couple times and then end up taking the field goal, as it looks like he's running some read options. Deion Jones getting out there to stop him. All right, let's see if we can get an interception or something here on third and five. I'd imagine he's probably looking for the flats. I'm going to use her Shazier, see if he is going to the flats, maybe the corner route, and wow, he was that would have been right in my zone. No one to blame there but myself, but first and goal all the way down to the three. I'm expecting a run play here. Uh, it is actually going to be a run with Saquon Barkley, and we're getting in the backfield. All right, some good defense there. I got to put up a QB spot because he does have McNabb. I'm a little bit worried about McNabb, and I think it's going to be another read option play here. What's he going to do? Is he going to try to hand it off? He is. Ricky, what? Oh, no, really? I got tripped up like that? Oh, my goodness. All right, let's try a big run here from James Conner. See if we can hit this to the outside. And I really hope our defense actually plays some good defense next time around. And hopefully next time he punts, doesn't bounce off my head. All right, let's mix in a pass here. He's definitely expecting us to run with Conner, who's having an okay game so far. Second and eighth, I'm going to try to hit probably my tight end in the flats. Looks like he is going to be open. Greg Olson, man, I love these uniforms. Greg Olson almost picking up a first down. I got to try a toss play. Toss seems to be really glitchy this year as we have James Devlin out there. Should be the lead blocker on this. Let's see if we can hit the outside. Uh, Devlin actually does pick up a good block. James Conner falling forward. That's what I'd like to see. 
I just want to see Connor bust one for like 25 yards or 45 to the house. I'll take that as well. All right, Connor, let's see what we can do. Um, not the best blocking on that play, but I don't know how he tackled me through T.O. Let's see if we get James going through the receiving game. I might have to mix in a couple of screens here and there to see exactly what he can do. Let's see if this corner plays the flat, and it looks like he's not going to be playing. Really? That's just ridiculous. Bouncing the ball off my offensive lineman's forehead. Uh, third and 11, though. Let's see if we can beat him deep. I think we actually might have Connor deep here. And it looks like right bumper is going to be open. Randy Moss. What happened? I guess the corner of the safety came down and made a play on the ball or it just like bounced off of Randy Moss's forehead. Not exactly sure, but we're looking for Greg Olson on this play or possibly Randy Moss. Actually, Moss is going to be open. Lope. I guess I threw it a little bit too early on that play and we are not playing very good offensively. Just ridiculous, man. He's all the way at midfield now because, of course, I didn't decide him not to punt. He's going to be running the ball with Saquon. Picking up a gain of two. Usually that play works against cover two. He'll run the little out route and I'll low point it. Moss will usually catch it and fall down. I guess just wasn't a good pass, and I guess I threw it just a tad bit early. Second and eight, though. We need to get a stop. It looks like he might be running another read option here, or maybe he's going to the flats. He is going to be passing the ball to the flats. Ryan Shazier getting out there and getting the tackle. All right, I'm running a little bit of man-to-man -man here on third and four. I feel like it's going to be a run, and it is Khalil Mack getting out there with the tackle. All right, defense, I need you to make a play here on fourth and four. Let's see what he's going to be going to. Maybe Barkley on another angle route? Nope. It looks like maybe the flats or the drags, and he does go to the flats. Oh, oh Krause, you got to pop him, man. All right, fourth and four. We have a QB spy. We're guarding the flats. He might be doing an angle route. Ooh, Saquon coming out the backfield. Okay, so it's definitely a pass on fourth and four. And let's see what he's going to try to go to. Maybe the flats right here. I'm all over that. Saquon, Deion Sanders with the pass breakup. Let's go. All right, third and 12. Let's see if we can get anything going here. So far, our offense has been basically nothing as we try to go to Calvin Johnson. Good catch. Stay in bounds. Oh, my God. Calvin could have had a touchdown. All right, I got one chance of this. I'm going to throw this to Calvin Johnson. If he doesn't come down with it, it's going to be an interception or I'm taking the field goal. Calvin, back at the end. Actually, Jerry Rice with the touchdown. Okay, they didn't play out like I wanted to, but still got the touchdown. All right, so the game is tied starting out in the second half. He does actually get the ball to start, which I thought I did, but I guess I messed up there. Let's see if we can stop him, though. He's going to be going to the deep cross. Ooh, Krause, good play. Every time I try to go for, like, a strip or something, if I'm pretty close to them, I never should be able to do it, as that's going to be a user pick with Ryan Chase here, and this is going to be... A pick six. I didn't know if it was actually going to be or not, but pick six is Ryan Chazier. I just want to, like, a sack, maybe two sacks, maybe three sacks from Aaron Donald. It cost me a lot of training points to get this man, and he's a two million coin card. I better see some pressure. My D-line is way too good to not get pressure rushing five, so we better get something in there, as I guess when he throws the flats, doesn't really have enough time. All right, third and 11, I'm sending six at him, so somebody better come screaming. Look at that pressure, baby. All right, I'm going to try a stretch play here with James Conner. Let me motion over Jimmy Graham. And let's see if we can get this going. Jimmy G, give me a good block to the outside. James Conner busting in between, but he is just a little bit too slow. Oh, my God, James Conner. Oh, my God. No way did he just break all those tackles. What? What a crazy freaking run. As I was about to say that James Conner was too slow... He breaks off all those tackles. That was insane. He has like a 79 break tackle rating, but he has like a 90-something trucking, and I'm pretty sure he leads the league in broken tackles. So I don't understand his break tackle rating, but right there just shows he can definitely still break some tackles even with a not-so-good rating. It's going to be going deep. Oh, Paul Krause was almost there. I'm actually going to blitz Paul Krause off the right side, see if it actually helps out Aaron Donald a little bit. And see if he can get in around there. Looks like Donald's one-on-one -on -one versus Saquon Barkley does get in there for some pressure. And Deion Sanders comes away with the interception. Can we get two pick sixes in one gameplay? Ah, Deion gets tackled. The first half was not very promising for us, but in the second half, it looks like we are definitely turning it up. Let's see if James Conner can bust another big run here on first and 10. Looks like I actually got blocked shit. It hit a little juke, break off another tackle. Oh, he was this close again. He's not by any means super, super slow, but he's just not as fast as I would want him, and it seems like defenders are getting a lot faster right about now, so that's why Connor isn't as good as he should be as he hits the outside here, hit another juke, break off a tackle, and falls forward. 
One thing I gotta say though, as you guys can see it, it seems like he is breaking a lot of tackles, or at least just bouncing off of defenders as we're gonna hit the outside here. Truck, okay, he fumbled again. All right, if we end this game right here, I, I feel like if we get a stop, it's probably gonna be game over as he tries to reroute someone right into my zone. And that's gonna be an interception for Patrick Peterson. Can we make it another pick six? I think this one might be a pick six. Pat oh, he got tackled. So I'm gonna come out and feed James Conner again. He has fumbled twice, but I still wanna give him some opportunities. See if we can get him to like 150 yards, maybe two touchdowns. I don't even think he has a touchdown yet, actually. Or actually, yes, he does have a touchdown. Really? Three fumbles? Third and two, where's he going? He's gonna try to take off once again. Oh my goodness gracious. And he fumbled into the end zone. Deion Jones with the recovery. 20 seconds left. I'm honestly just trying to stab Pat a little bit here. Just trying to get a couple more yards with James Conner. Stretch play to the outside. Khalil Mack actually was sitting basically right there. James Conner with a good spin move and all the way down to the 50. This is probably gonna be the final run of the game. I just want to try and pick up like four yards. I think all we need is three to get 150 as Connor is able to break off another tackle and fall forward over 150 yards in the game plan. James Connor, 19 rushes, 154 yards, one touchdown, three fumbles, five broken tackles. But he did have 78 yards after contact and a 61 yard rushing touchdown. So is what it is i guess i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment make sure you guys check out my other videos from earlier today also big shout out to bandits they did actually mess with me and say he was a fan so shout out to you if you're watching this video hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time